long has it been? 22. 22 years? Okay. <laughs> that seems like a long time to me. Um, yeah, well, it was a long time ago. Um, and mostly I remember things uh, outside of the concert, like uh, spending all night dancing in some strange uh, club, like that, you know, tango. tango. We tangoed all night. And that, that was, uh, I think that was probably a terrible thing for, to, to, to see, but we had a great time. Um, I bought a beautiful little um, marble um, statue of Jesus Christ in a, in, a, uh, in a market, which I carried all, all around the tour with me. Warren got bitten all over his face by uh, Argentinian mosquitoes. Um, that's pretty much the things I remember. That certainly felt that it was um, impossible to um, deal with the creative process after, the, after what had happened with the death of my son. It just felt like um, there was no oxygen, creative oxygen, around uh, the event. It was just the event. And I think basically uh, over the last couple of years what I've been trying to work out is how to um, both be a creative individual and also to uh, um, not to betray or uh, to, to somehow uh, reach beyond this event to some create to, to, to some creative pull uh, without sort of betraying the event itself, um, and I seem to have been able to do that. I've seemed to have found found a way uh, of writing songs that are not about this, but uh, the spirits of my son are walking through all the songs that I write. I think they always well. I think the spirits of many people walk through my songs or our songs or the songs of the world really. Well, I think that that's one of the um, advantages I have that, that I've had a lot of incredible artists go before me um, that, that I could learn from. Um, the, the real, the, the kind of pioneers of this sort of thing like Bob Dylan and Leonard Cohen and Neil Young and Van Morrison and, and these sorts of things and you can see uh, the way in which these people have managed to endure in some way. So, some of them have remained incredibly relevant. I think that Leonard Cohen, for example, in his way remained relevant and interesting to his death. And, and it was something incredibly inspiring to, to me to see that all he needed to do was to remain truthful to himself and stick to his guns. It didn't matter what people said about what he did. And he went through great periods of uh, of, of popularity and and people, you know, being totally forgotten about, but he stuck to his guns and just moved forward. And in the end, that's the that's kind of the way to do it. Bob Dylan too is an incredible uh, influence on me in the sense that he kept changing all the time. Bob Dylan is just this thing that never stops um, transforming into some other thing. And that's definitely a lesson to be learned on how to stay uh, relevant and to stay, um, just to stay around, you know. You see other people, I think, uh, they start up, they get something going and they repeat, 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 repeat. It's the same thing, same thing, and it just goes like this. Um, it, it's, I think it starts with the audience. I think your demise uh, or your downfall starts with a complacency in the audience. And you were talking before about um, about staying for a long time in the business. I think you asked. Yeah, you were asking yeah, good yeah, questions. Yeah. It, it, in, it, it's having great collaborators, actually. If I was on my own, I would not be here. That's for sure. Uh, I wouldn't be able to. Um, I wouldn't be able to morph and change in the same way that I'm that I'm able to. I'm forced to listen to them because I have a teenage son. So uh, I hear a lot of this music. Um, 
Some of it is extraordinary. Um, some of it is unlistenable. Um, he's still working, trying to work out the difference, I think. Um, and well, for me, and, but, but from what I can uh, gather, it seems that within rock and roll, it's all backward looking. It's nostalgia, nostalgia, nostalgia. And within hip hop and stuff like that, it seems to be moving forward in some way, especially music, musically. And sometimes I hear some of the hip hop stuff that he plays, it's pretty uh, amazing, uh, musically, I would say. Um, especially how um, stripped back everything's getting, how there's just only a couple of instruments being used, and quite incredible songs based on the very smallest of ideas and this is this is pretty exciting to listen to.